What's up, neighbors? This is Jeremy with the Big Idea Camp, and welcome to our weekly lesson as we talk about values. What are values? We say it every week. Values are something that can start inside of you, become a habit that you do in life, and it can change the world around you. Values are important. When, you're, when you get old like my age, it's the values that determine how you tackle life. The direction that we take, how we process decisions is based upon what we believe in the most. And this month, for, for the students in our area, we're talking about a specific value. For this month of March, we're talking about the value of patience. And we have defined patience as waiting until later for what you want now. now patience isn't easy. Nobody really likes patience unless you're a doctor, but that's a whole other different kind of patience. Patience is something that, that uses the word wait. We don't like the word wait, do we? We don't want to wait for things that we want. But patience, again, by its definition, is waiting until later for what you want now. So kind of makes me want to ask this question today. What is something that you're waiting on right now? What's something that you're excited about? What's something that you're looking forward to and you have to wait? We'll talk about that here in a second. But one of the things I want to talk about, we always do this the second week of the month. We always have um, an animal, or in this case, a horrendously scary insect, that is the example of our value. And so for the month of March and patience, you can see it right there on the screen. I almost wanted to take a fly swatter and, or my shoe and smack the screen. I, I'm not a fan of spiders. I'm just not. There's There's... This is hard for me. It's hard for me to talk good about a spider this month, but let's let's talk about this orb weave uh, weaver spider. Let me read this to you. Um, sorry if I get like itchy on my skin. I'm just not a spider's guy. Uh, of all the of all the world's roughly fifty thousand species of spiders, and that right there is enough to make me never want to sleep again. Fifty thousand species of spiders. Come on. Uh, the, of all the world's roughly 50,000 species of spiders that make silk, but only about a half of them build webs. So there are 25,000 species of spiders that, that build webs. You've seen spider webs, right? You, you, let's just not talk about it. Uh, webs are designed to trap prey or to creep kids out as they run through it, or adults as a, you know, we could be walking in a room that hasn't been walked in a while and get it in our hair and flip out and, and scream like a little child. That's what I do. Okay, so of all of them, uh, the webs are designed to trap prey. For spiders in this family, these orb weavers, web building is a feat of engineering. If you're in the southeastern United States, I think Kentucky is kind of based upon that. I've, I've lived in Kentucky. Uh, I've lived in Georgia and Louisiana. You know what we're talking about, about spider webs. Um, you might walk right into the web of a golden silk orb weaver. These webs stretch up to six feet across, and a female spider constructs the web with silk that looks golden in the sunlight. She makes a hub near the top to patiently wait for lunch or dinner, and when an insect flies in, she injects it with venom and wraps it up in a to-go silk for later. Let me, let me explain this again. This spider is patient. It waits for a fly or whatever to get in its web, and it runs down there, shoots it with venom, wraps it up in silk like a mummy to eat it later. And we're speaking good about these things. Come on. Uh, takes it back to her hub, which discourages other sneaky little spiders from stealing her meal. Her web is semi-permanent, meaning she repairs part of it each day rather than starting from scratch. For the triangle weaver spider native to U.S. and Canada, physics rules. Think of medieval catapult. The spider doesn't have venom, but it has a special trick to overtake prey. You ready for this? Let me tell you how sneaky these, these uh, little spiders are. Walking backwards, walking backwards like creepy movie, it pulls back the web's anchor line and waits maybe for hours. When an insect lands on the web, the spider cuts the silk 
and is propelled like a rock from a slingshot faster than any space shuttle. The prey gets tangled up and loose in, in the loosened web, and the spider is the only known animal besides humans to use this external power of amplification. So let me let me break it down for you. Spiders are creepy and they're intelligent, which makes it even worse. I if I see a spider, I want it to be a dumb spider. I want the spider to look at me like, hey Jeremy, so I can smash it with my shoe. No. These are not dumb spiders. These are like, I will hide around the corner, uh, pop out with a clown mask and scare you so I can eat you kind of spiders. <sighs> Come on. I'm not happy with this. So, maybe the spider's being patient for its food. Makes sense. Maybe it wants to feed his family. Makes sense. I want to stop talking about spiders because I would like to sleep this weekend. So, let me ask you this question. I, I asked it a little bit earlier. What are you excited about? What do you uh, look forward to, but maybe you have to be patient for right now? Some of the things that I think about is I'm ready for spring slash summertime. I'm ready for the ice storms and the snow and the flooding to be gone. I love to see the sun come out. I would love to see 60, 65 degree weather. That's my favorite. I'm actually not a fan of like 85, 95 degrees. Like give me, give me 60 to 70, happy guy. Um, I like the, I like whether I can wear shorts and a hoodie. It's my favorite. But I'm ready for baseball. I'm ready for my son to play Little League Baseball. I'm ready to coach again Little League Baseball. I love it. It's one of my favorite things I get to do every year. Um, I think about family trips this summer. We're going to go to the beach as a family. Love doing that. What are the things that you look forward to? But right now, you have to be patient. Like right now, you look out the window, and maybe you see flooding, which has been horrendous this past week. And you're like, man, will it ever end? But being patient is going to help us. We have to wait for something that we want. And sometimes it's the wait that truly, really makes things worth it. So let's look at our sheet today. Um, I'm going to look at this real quick. On a scale of 1 to 10, how often do you show patience? It's not easy to be patient. It's just not. I don't like to wait for things. I mean, I put a hot pocket in the microwave and it's like two and a half minutes. And I know the fact that when it comes out of the microwave, it's going to burn my mouth and I should wait for it, but the smell of that gooey, cheesy greatness, I'm just, oh, and I burn my mouth. I need to be patient on that, which is the opposite of a baked potato. You put a baked potato in the oven, you've got to wait for like three and a half days. It takes forever to make those. So sometimes I put a baked potato in the oven just in case I want one later, if I'm not even hungry. Anyway, how often do you show patience? Like on a scale of one to 10, me, 2.3, I don't know. It says this, it says, place your arms straight out from your sides, roll them in circles and back. Okay, that's, that's, that's cool little, all right, all right. Know it. Describe what patience is to a neighbor. If you were to talk to your neighbor, maybe your younger brother or sister, how would you describe patience? How, how would you define it to them? What are some of the examples that you would, would tell them? Like, this is a time that I had to be patient. It says, draw anything to remind yourself as I will persevere. It means persevere it means you're going to... You're going to stay strong through the wait, being patient through that time period. And then you know how I feel about this. Very important. How do you feel today? You know how I feel about it. I love doing this exercise. I like being the thermostat. A thermometer will tell you what the temperature is in a room, but a thermostat can change the room, uh, the temperature in the room. And when it comes to our feelings, it's very important that we learn to be a thermostat. Not only can we read how we feel and we can measure but we can also make adjustments. If it's too cold, let's boop, you know, boop, boost up the heat. If it's too hot, let's put on the AC. With our feelings, it's good that we can measure it like a thermometer. We can, we can say, hey, I'm happy, I'm tired, I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm sick, I'm frustrated, annoyed, calm, scared, worried, proud, or other. You can draw your own. A thermometer would say, this is what I feel. A thermostat would say, this is how I feel, but I don't want to stay scared I mean, I'm still kind of itchy about talking to all those spiders. I don't want to stay that way. I don't want to think scared. I don't want to think there's a big spider behind. There better not be. So what I need to do, because I'm scared in this moment, I need to give me some time to make sure that I can not be scared. And that's what a thermostat would do. I want to push the button and, and change it. Doesn't mean that being scared is wrong. Any feeling. It's never wrong to have a feeling. I want you to know that it's totally okay to be annoyed. It's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to be angry. That, that's just normal. We all have those feelings. Let's just not stay there, you know? 
Let's not be annoyed at something. Like, for example, if I saw a spider run across the room, I'd be like, oh, but I don't want that to change the rest of my day, if that makes sense. I don't want to be like taking my son for dinner later and think about that spider and be like, oh, no, we can't get French fries. I saw the spider. You know what I'm saying? Don't let your feelings dictate and change the rest of the world. Let's process them. Let's talk about our feelings and then make the most of it. Speaking of that, let me tell you a quote from my hero, Mr. Rogers. Let me tell you a famous quote that he said about patience. And I'll read this to you this way. It says that mutual caring relationships, mutual caring relationships, like really good friendships that people are looking out for each other, that requires kindness, requires patience, tolerance, optimism, joy in the other's achievements. Do you celebrate when your friends succeed? You should. Don't be selfish and be like, oh, I didn't win. It's a good thing to celebrate when other people win. Confidence in yourself and the ability to give without the thought of getting back. And that's a weird thing, too. We don't need to be nice. We don't need to be kind to people just so they'll be nice back to us. Now, we should be nice and we should be kind because that's the right thing to do. Guys, it's been a good day. I want to remind you on Mondays, we do the homework helpers. If you need any assistance with a subject, with a problem, or with some sort of uh, ordeal that you have, an assignment, you can email it to us and we will help you. We will connect you with our local educators. This program has been going strong all year, and I'm very, very, very thankful to the adult volunteers who've made this possible. I'm thankful for every student and family who's been a part of this to make it happen. Guys, it's been a great week. It's fun. Be patient. Let's learn about patience. Let's, let's think about how it applies in our life. What is it that we're waiting for now that we're, we're looking forward to later? Maybe it's a trip. Maybe it's an event. Maybe it's a specific day. My son's birthday's coming up. I'm sure, much like you guys, he can't wait to be older. But my goodness, how amazingly awesome it is to be young now. Don't forget that. Guys, have a great week. We'll see you next week. We're going to talk about patience a little bit more. Until then, I want you to know I love you. I'm proud of you for who you are. There's only one person just like you in this world, and I like you just the way you are. We'll see you soon.